What are some celebrities you wish to cut their hairs? All of them. All of them. Can you see me a cleanest? Close when me rockin' at the fucking realest. Chi ching ching. In a dinner with the best. Girl want with his feet silicon and real bless. What's up, what's up, beautiful people? This is your boy, Mr. Few once again to the Ask Me channel. And yeah, people, as you know, I always give the best of the best. Now I'm back with the best video. So I'm with a guest, and you know, he's gonna introduce himself and he's gonna, he gonna tell us more about his career. So, what's up? Oh, nice, man. How are you? I'm good. How are you, man? Fine, man. I'm yeah, okay. introduce yourself and you know, tell us what you do. Yeah, to those that don't know me, my name is uh, Mudogo Safari Martin. I'm actually known as Safo Faith because I represent Safo Faith on Instagram. I'm a barber. I do mobile barbering in Kigali mostly, but sometimes I get to go out of Kigali to other provinces. And yeah, that's in Rwanda. Yeah. So, when did you start your barbering career? Um, like the career itself, I started doing something like two years and something ago precisely in 2019 December December 2019 that's when I started cutting hair for money though it has been there for some time I've been cutting hair for some time before that uh, yeah so when did when uh, uh, where where did you start uh, cutting hair for like cutting hair for money yeah yeah for money uh, I started just after my high school and that was in Uganda. Yeah, so yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. So then why did you choose then to come to do a uh, uh, business in London? Yeah, so I actually came to Rwanda in 2019. Yeah, as I was in Uganda like, at campus, at the university. And as I was cutting hair for money, I was at the university. So it happened that my passport got expired. So I had to come and renew. You know, recently there are these new passports that they released, and people started saying we don't have it. There are some places won't be, like the other ones won't be used anymore. Yeah. So I felt on pressure, and I had to come and renew my passport. But when I was coming to renew my passport, I never had in mind that I will ever work in Rwanda or I will stay and work from here. Yeah. Because when I was there, I had this mentality of bro, like more opportunities at that side than this side. The barbering industry pays more in Uganda than in Rwanda. Yeah. yeah, so that's when I came and when I found that the grass is greener yeah. at the other side, like at home, yeah. Yeah, I decided to stay. Because when I here, when when I was here, like my first, my very first client, when I tried cutting hair, paid me more than I ever got like while cutting hair. Yeah. So I said, why not? Why not do it? Do it from home, yeah. yeah. And that's when I decided to stay in Rwanda yeah. and actually cut hair uh, from Rwanda. Yeah. So, where are you from? Like, where? Like, from? like originally, if you try to trace the background, I'm from Congo. Yeah. If you try to trace the ancestors, if you go deep into it, yeah, I'm from Congo. <laughs> so your but, family? Uh, part of the family is in Rwanda, yeah. and the other one is in Congo. Yeah. Though my home. Like where I was raised from, it's a runner. The same. The same. Yeah. It's uh, in eastern province. 
Seen you using waste. Using waste. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> yeah. So, um, could you tell tell us also uh, the thoughts about your friends? Uh, if you tell them you're gonna follow your goal or your career. Um, actually, friends, it wasn't that tough to friends. Yeah. Like it was to parents. Yeah. But those friends, when I just after finishing high school, when I joined the uh, barbering, yeah. I actually started informing them to you know gain support from them. Yeah. Because those friends I started with, I considered them to be like the first people that were going to support me. Yeah. So when I was going to them, man. Like I used to cut your hair from school, but now I'm trying to take it to another level. I want to be a barber. So they were like, bro, like all things in this world, why you choose to be a barber? Yeah. So it was somehow hard to fit again in the society I had before. Yeah, they had that misconcept of barbary. Yeah. So do you believe um, you will get uh, a lot of money in barbering? Um. Bro, when I actually started Burberry, yeah. or when I went to it, it was not all about money. Yeah. yeah, but when actually I found, like, when I entered deep into it, yeah, I realized there's money. Yeah. It's quite a lot of money, like, unlike the way people think about it, unlike the way most of Africans' parents think about it. You know, parents, they want you to be... Yeah, you tell, tell me about, yeah, <laughs> you tell us about your parents. Yeah, when so, you told them you're gonna... Uh, to gonna be a barber. Mm. So as you know, parents they want you to be a doctor, they want you to be a lawyer, yeah. an engineer. engineer. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So it was in 2019, as I told you, when I left Singer Six. Yeah. But actually, my first barber shop it wasn't all from me. Like, the money wasn't for me. Yeah. I got some support from parents, though it was really hard. Yeah. So I approached them. I was like, Mom, Dad. Actually, told it to my mom first. Uh, like. I like to do something in my vacation. And she was like, what is that? So maybe she was expecting me to be like, I'm going to join another <laughs> school, yeah. maybe a computer course, something. Yeah. But those are, uh, I'd like you to be paying for me some YouTube channel, you yeah. know, so that at least I, I learned something of Burberry. I want to cut hair. Yeah. So it was really hard to do this <laughs> It was really hard, she was like, what? Yeah. I, don't want to be, I don't want to be a mother of a baba. <laughs> go and do a computer course or go do something else, yeah. but not that. Yeah. So I persisted. Yeah. Like I asked it continuously. I yeah. tried proposing a refuse, but one time I was like, okay, since it's just for vacation, yeah. go and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Though now it wasn't just for vacation, as you see up to now. Yeah. Now it's the career that. Yeah, it's what I say to myself in. Five, ten years to come, yeah. go to another level, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's that's amazing. People, as you can see, uh, here, you know, Rwanda have a lot of opportunities, and you know, barbering industry. Some people are, you know, developing here, developing here every single day, as you can know, suffer saying it. And uh, back to to to, to barbering career and um, cutting hair. Uh, what are some advantages, some importance you mm -hmm. find in the barbering uh, industry? Uh, to me, like, because I'm a mobile barber, as I told you, the first or the biggest advantage I find you need is that you're, you're free, the freedom you need. Yeah. yeah. You're totally free, it's not that. It's something that, it's like art, you know? Yeah. You do it out of, let me say, talent, out of love. Yeah, so it's actually easy to do it than other jobs where you're forced to do things, you know? Yeah. yeah there's that freedom, man. Like, everything is easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true, that's true. Is the, uh, there's ease, okay? Yeah. There's also the um, disadvantage of uh, relationships, you know? yeah. people you get to meet, connection. connection, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Connection, yeah. You can meet way important people in this industry of power in that. So many other industries that are thought to be so big. What are some what are some celebrities you wish to cut their hairs? Bro, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. No, tell me maybe like uh, uh, three celebrities all around yeah. the world, all around the world. Not only in London. Uh, You're gonna tell me three in all around the world and three all around the world. Okay, most of the people I would like to cut their hair one day are actually. People that taught me how to cut hair. 
Yeah, so those are the people I really feel like I would really work with, I would really work on them one day. It's who like, told you? Who told you that? The person that told me like okay, it was on YouTube that I learned most of the things I know. I also joined the online academy where I think I could pay twenty dollars a month. Yeah. But then it wasn't so much. So there is a three sixty G Z. It's not in the two for five but was among the people that I learned from yeah. YouTube. And there's also Kev the Baba. Um, in the Tomb of the Five, there's Chris Boschel, there's Get Pink. So those are the people I would really love to yeah. work on one day. Yeah. yeah. So they are role models. Yeah, yeah they are my role models. They are actually the ones that make me who I am. Yeah. So let me see your skills then. Yeah. Are you ready to cut my hair? Of course, my hair is messed up as you can see guys, you know, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna apply his face to my hair. So do you trust him? Maybe let me trust him. <laughs> let us see what he got. So let's see. Are you ready? I'm ready. So you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Sure, you're gonna make uh, a feet look stunning. Yeah, the feet are gonna look stuff. Okay, so people will judge in comments. Or in comments, or in comments, uh, late the haircut, all right? Okay, so we're back. Uh, you, see, you saw how amazing and stunning my hair look like. And yeah, so Saflo, share us how you make uh, uh, this barbering career, you make profit from it. Yeah, obviously I make profit in the barbering career by cutting hair. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just trying to encourage everyone, like every barber watching this, if you're willing to be a barber in Rwanda, as long as you're ready to actually put in the work to give uh, quality work, bro, the, the sky is not even the limit. Yeah. Now you can make money, the same money that people that go to school and get degrees yeah. and get those five to nine jobs make. You can also make it cutting hair and actually more than them if you work hard. Yeah. Yeah, so people should really stop undermining this and parents should stop like having that mindset of, you know, someone you're not supposed to be a baba i'd say that doctor or what or something yeah. so bro if you really love something and you put the work and the effort in something you the sky is not even the limit yeah, yeah that's so. true man that's true that's true for sure also can you tell them uh, your address maybe where people can find you if they want to um me i'm a, as i told you i'm a mobile baba yeah so i'm a road boy if you can say I'm on the road from 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. till late, but if you want, but if you want to find me, like talk to me or book for a haircut, it's on Instagram. My Instagram is Suffer Fate. Yeah, Suffer Fate. Yeah, so that's gonna... where that's where they can find the details and everything. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, put a link in the description. So if you want uh, to book him. You go uh, click the link directly. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, direct you to the Instagram and you can uh, book stuff for free. So uh, you have also a WhatsApp number. Maybe you can share. Yeah, everything is on Instagram. All right, all right. Mm. So people, thank you so much and thank you, Safo for Faith, for the educational conversation. That was amazing and thank you so so much and you know keep the vibe and keep you know um, changing the industry. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Thank you so much, people, for watching. And if it is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and like if you like the video and comment down below how was the haircut and how was the composition. All right. Thank you so so much and make sure you check Suffer Faith. Bye bye. <laughs>